MAN Diesel & Turbo introduces the new Mark 10 platform in virtual reality. At first glance, the Mark 10 platform looks like the familiar MAN B&W design. But at closer inspection, we can see some revolutionary new innovations. The G90 ME C Mark 10 new platform. At almost 15 meters tall and 5.5 meters wide, with a depth of 22.5 meters, this engine represents the strongest and most power efficient design yet. The bed plate has a reduced weight and optimized stiffness around the bearing supports. The crankshaft has a new crank throw design, reducing the overall length of the crankshaft. All main bearings are prepared for blend edge design on all cylinders. The first really visible sign of the design changes comes at the connecting rod, which we call the flex rod. The overall height is reduced to allow a lower engine installation height. The new flex rod distributes the forces more widely than traditional connecting rods, lowering the bearing oil film pressure and increasing the oil thickness for longer times between overhauls. Let's stop the engine and have a look at the new flex rod. Try to have a look up and down. You are standing in front of one of the biggest and most efficient marine diesel engines. The crosshead has a wide pad bearing, which allows up to 10% increase in bearing pressure, distributed widely over the bearing, again reducing the TBOs. When designing the new Mark 10, we looked at reducing the overall weight of the engine and both cylinder frame and stuffing box have a reduced mass due to new construction methods. The piston rod and cylinder liner have been reduced in mass. And the piston itself has a reduced height and redesigned valley design based on latest combustion research. The cylinder cover is also reduced in height and provides a lower exhaust bottom piece. We saved the best for last. The main reduction in the 10% weight loss per cylinder is from the missing HCU whose function has been moved to the exhaust valves. The newly designed innovation, the MAN B&W Top Controlled Exhaust Valve TCEV, and Fuel Booster Injection Valve FBIV, make the exhaust valve the main driver of the engine and the platform. On your right, we have highlighted the hydraulic oil inlet for the system. If you look to your left, we highlighted the fuel control pipes. The whole thing is controlled from the hydraulic control unit on top of the exhaust valves. And that is the new Mark 10 platform. We hope you enjoyed this experience.